without being attached and at the same time coming out of the situation despite all the success and the laurels and just walking out of it in the interest in the larger interest of uh, in what today we call organization but in those days I would call it kingdom so we'd be happy to if you could share us some example or story from the Vedic literature you know Krishna is a maternal uncle Kansa who was a hypocrite he tortured people so finally it was Krishna he came he came to Mathura the kingdom where Kansa was ruling he killed Kansa and he established democracy he gave justice to the people of Mathura Kansa's brother-in-law Jarasan he became extremely angry with Krishna because he killed his brother-in-law he killed his sister's husband so he wanted to take revenge so Jarasan started attacking people he attacked once failed he attacked for the second time failed Krishna emerged victorious so what would be Krishna's age at that point of time? Krishna was around 14 to 16 years old. A young old. king, a young, young king. leader. Young leader, okay. yes. Okay. So Jarasandha was preparing for the third time. This time he organized a huge army. Huge army. Because he knew it's extremely difficult to defeat Krishna. During that time, the people of Mathura sat together to decide what to do. One of the elderly persons in the Mathura, he said to Krishna, he had this gut to say, because Krishna allowed this freedom, which didn't happen in Kansa's room. So this old man got up and said, Krishna, you did a very good thing by killing Kansa and giving us justice, establishing democracy here. But you know, this aspect of Jarasandha coming and attacking again and again to Mathura is not good for Mathura. He is coming for the third time. He is coming for the third time. And but who will be coming out victorious? Don't worry. He says, yes, I know that who will be victorious. But what about the people of Mathura? The economy is ruining. ruining. Because war is war. That's right. People will be killed. So much bloodshed will happen. Right. The economy will be ruined. It's not good for Mathura. So Krishna says, then what is the solution? He says, I have a solution. Do let me know what is the solution. I will be happy to hear that. He says, the elderly person said, Krishna, remember that Jarasandha doesn't have enmity with Mathura. He has the enmity with you. Oh my God. Okay. So in this situation, I request you with folded hands, please leave Mathura and go away wherever you want. I don't want you in Mathura. I can't believe it. Uh, it's the same Krishna you said who established peace and democracy. Right. Uh, I'm really excited to hear what happened next and what did you do? How did Krishna react? So Krishna, when we look at his personality right from the beginning, Till the end of his life, he never reacted, but he responded positively for everything. You said he did not react, but he responded. He responded positively. And positively. what did Krishna do? So from the same status, he gave up his kingship in Mathura and walked out of Mathura with no hesitation, with no feeling of anything that I have done, it, no feeling of insult, no feeling of anything of that sort. Happily, with a smile on his face, he left. For the and good of the greater mass, a true level 5 leader that we are talking about. And, and that tender an age, when he was attached to power. 16 years old, wow, yeah. that's it's yeah. amazing. Thank you very much, thank you Marika and thank you Dr. Mishra. Uh, Thank you all of you. This is Sanjay Mitra bringing this program to you from the Himalayas. What you see in the background is the Himalayas. And stay tuned. We'll get you more of Dr. Sampadananda Mishra on the Vedic literature and the Vedic wisdom.